Diana Al-Hadid The process of making something is a process of learning. It's my link to the rest of the world. Diana Al-Hadid works big. Some of her sculptures fill entire rooms. Her studio includes a welding station, huge power drills, and assorted hammers and saws. Sometimes she wears a protective hazmat suit when she's carving. Working with heavy duty materials such as steel, wood, fiberglass, and plaster, Diana creates sculptures that look like ruined cities, crumbling towers, and mythological worlds. I climb over my sculptures. They're very physical, she said, describing how she works. I'll break things and then fix things, and sometimes I'm literally inside the piece. Diana's family left Aleppo, Syria in 1986 when she was five years old. She only spoke Arabic when the Al-Hadids arrived in Ohio and she quickly had to learn English. I remember rehearsing saying, I'm not from here, I'm from Syria, but people didn't realize where Syria was. Though she fit in pretty well in her new neighborhood, Diana said her parents maintained strict traditions at home. I wasn't allowed to go to prom, she said. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend. But she was free to pursue her love of art, and by the time she turned 11, she was determined to be an artist. Diana admired the old masters of Europe painters like Goya and Botticelli and Rembrandt and she studied drawing and photography before turning to sculpture. Sometimes her work draws on her Arab and Islamic background, but some critics have said she should do more to embrace those roots. I am a Syrian artist, but that's not the full story, Diana said in reply. She is very concerned about the conflicts in war-torn Syria, where cities have been destroyed and thousands of people have been killed or have escaped as refugees. She also knows that opportunities for women in the arts and other professions were very limited in Syria, even before the war. Living in the United States gave her the opportunity to create. Everything I do now is a product of my ancestry, Diana said. I think that's a political enough statement that I am an Arab woman making sculptures. I wouldn't be making sculptures if I was living in Syria. Side note, Diana's studio in Brooklyn, New York used to be a silk flower factory. Diana once put paint on the soles of her feet and danced to make a blueprint for a sculpture with her footsteps. <laughs>